Joan of Arc, was a French peasant girl who was born into a time of political unrest and civil war. She is best known for her role in leading French forces against the English and their allies in the Hundred Years' War. She was burned at the stake in 1431, at the age of 19, and was later canonized as a saint by the Catholic Church. During her time, France was embroiled in the Hundred Years' War, with the English occupying much of northern France and having the support of the Duke of Burgundy. The French king, Charles VII, had not yet been crowned and was known as the Dauphin. The city of Reims, where French kings were traditionally crowned, was under English control. At the age of about 13, Joan had her first heavenly vision, where she claimed that street. Michael instructed her to be obedient, good, and attend church regularly. For a while, she kept these visions to herself, but later, went street. Catherine and street. Margaret also appeared to her and commanded her to meet the Dauphin and inspire his armies to reclaim Reims for his coronation. Joan shared her divine calling with her parents and others. Initially, her father opposed her mission. Joan's visions persisted, and her friends, believing in her divine inspiration, helped her acquire boys' clothing and a horse. They embarked on a journey to the Dauphin's court at Chinon. There, Joan correctly identified the real king among the courtiers, despite an attempt to deceive her. However, the Dauphin and his advisors were skeptical about her mission, leading to months of questioning and uncertainty. Eventually, an army was assembled, and the Dauphin provided Joan with armor, attendants, and horses. A special banner was crafted for her, displaying Jesus Maria and figures of God and the Virgin Mary. Although Joan was not officially the commander of the army, her presence greatly inspired the soldiers. She led a series of successful sallies from Orleans, which effectively discouraged and harassed the English besieging the city. During these skirmishes, Joan was wounded but continued to lead with courage. On May 8, 1429, the victory was celebrated with the first festival of Orleans, and the army eventually reached Reims. On July 16, the Dauphin was crowned king with Joan proudly standing by, holding her banner high. Her bravery and leadership played a crucial role in breaking the English siege of Orleans and securing other important victories for the French, making her a symbol of hope and inspiration during those tumultuous times. After the victory at Reims, a decision was made to attack Paris, but the newly crowned king, Charles VII, hesitated and was indecisive, which prevented Joan's soldiers from launching a concerted attack. Nevertheless, they managed to capture Compiègne and other nearby towns. An attempt to attack a Parisian salient was repelled, and Joan was wounded again. During the winter, Charles VII disbanded his army and moved southward, leaving Joan frustrated with the royal delay. In the following spring, Joan returned to Compiègne, which was now under siege by forces led by the Duke of Burgundy. On May 23, 1430, during a sortie into the Burgundian lines, Joan got separated from her soldiers and was captured. She was taken prisoner to Brevois, where she made an attempt to escape but was injured during her leap from the Donjon Tower. Later, she was sold to the English, who were determined to have her executed. Joan was taken to Rouen and kept in chains. The English wanted Joan to be sentenced by an ecclesiastical court, so the University of Paris, which was under Burgundian control, charged her with heresy and witchcraft. The court, consisting of members from regions under English occupation and headed by the Bishop of Beauvais, began its sittings on February 21, 1431, and continued intermittently for months. Joan appealed to be judged by the Pope, but her request was denied. On May 23, she was condemned to be burned at the stake unless she recanted. Throughout her imprisonment, she endured chains, threats of torture, and thousands of questions, yet she remained steadfast in her innocence, often giving simple and unaffected answers to tricky questions, claiming that street, Catherine and street, Margaret continued to counsel her. Faced with the prospect of death by burning, Joan made a recantation, but many historians believe she may not have fully understood its implications. As a result, her punishment was changed from death to life imprisonment. However, the English were outraged by this leniency, and soon she was accused of relapsing from her submission. On May 30, 1431, at the young age of 19, Joan was handed over to civil authority and burned to death at the stake. Charles VII made no effort to save Joan at the time, but about 25 years later, he supported her family's appeal to the Pope. In 1456, a papal court annulled the judgment of 1431. In recognition of her remarkable courage and faith, Joan of Arc was canonized as a saint by the Roman Catholic Church on May 16, 1920.